Our next topic, probability. Probability, the study of randomness. Randomness. What is randomness? Well, let's see from this two point of view. One, we call a phenomenon random. If individual outcomes are uncertain, but there is nevertheless a regular distribution of outcome in a large number of reputations. Now, two, the probability of any outcome of a random phenomenon is a proportion of times the outcome would occur in a very long series of reputations. Okay? Next, I'm going to introduce you some basic terminology used in probability models. Now, first one, what is a random experiment? It is an experiment whose outcome are unknown to us before we actually perform it. For example, random experiment one, flip a fail coin twice, okay? When we flip a fail coin twice, when we flip a fail coin twice, how many possible outcome can we see? We can either see what? Head head. Or head tail. Or we can see what? Tail head. Or we see what? Tail tail. There are four possible outcomes resulting from this random experiment. And before we actually perform the experiment, we have no idea which one we would get. In this example, first three, we see a head. Second three, we see what? A tail, okay? So what is a random experiment? A random experiment whose outcomes are unknown to us before we actually what? Perform it. Now, let's introduce you a fail coin. When I say fail coin, what does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? Pi, first of all, let me define pi is a chance of getting heads. Sometimes I use p instead of pi, okay? And pi equal to 50% or one half. The coin is called a fail coin. When you flip such a coin, you have 50% chance to get a head, you have 50% chance to get a tail. 50-50. That's why we call a fail coin. Now, when we say a bias coin, what does that mean? That means the chance of getting heads is not 50%. Pi is not equal to 50%, okay? It's called a bias coin. It's called a bias coin. And pi equal to 100%. That is a two one, a two-headed coin. This kind of coin, no matter how you flip it, you can only see head because it has only heads, two heads on both sides. And pi equal to 0%. This is what we call a two-tail coin, okay? This is what we call a two-tail coin. When you flip such a coin, no matter how you flip it, you can only see tails, no heads, okay? Now, next one is a very wheel coin, okay? That is a wheel coin. And the coin is what? It has 33.3% chance of getting a head. Pi equal to one third. 
When we say pi equal to one third, what does that mean? When we flip such a coin 300 times, we expect to see what? 100 heads. Or I say, when we flip such a coin 3,000 times, we expect to see what? 1,000 heads. Remember, the key words here is what? Is expect. You may not see exactly what? Say when we flip the coin 300 times. We may not see exactly 100 heads. Even you see 98 or 99, you see what? Oh, you see this is a, still that coin, okay? Now, next question. Can a random experiment have only one possible outcome? The answer is no, okay? Because before you flip the coin, you already know the outcome. Why you know the outcome? Because it has only one. It has only one possible outcome. For example, when you flip a two-headed coin, two times, is this is a random experiment? And the answer is one, no. Why is no? Because before you flip the coin one, two times, you know the outcome must be head-head, okay? The outcome must be head-head. So let's look at the comments, okay? Let's look at the comments again. Flipping a two-headed coin twice is not what? A random experiment. Okay? So to be qualified as a random experiment, it must have more than one possible outcome. Okay? It must have more than one possible outcome. 